Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. This is going to be a fun little video because I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite Italian words that I love to teach. And all of my students, when they learn the correct use of this word, they start using it and saying it immediately. And I love this because very often it happens that I'll be teaching this word and if I find my students around town, they might speak their language, but they'll drop in this word. And it makes me so proud to hear them using it. And it's, it's just a fun word to use. So today I'm very excited to be able to explain the correct use of the word allora. Be very, very excited with me because you're going to be practicing this word with me and you need your hand gestures, your facial expression, and we are going to use a lot of intonation because this word changes a lot if you change your tone of voice, okay? so. The first thing that you need to know is that this word truly is really versatile because it, you can use it in many different situations and it does have different translations if you analyze it deep down to the detail, okay? Generally speaking, I think probably one of the most common translations is to use it as you would use the English word so. Let's look at a couple of sentences. You will see them on the screen, read them with me. Allora, com'è stato il viaggio? Did you read it? Read it again. Allora, com'è stato il viaggio? So, how was the trip? Okay, so very simple. So, allora, cosa vuoi? So, what do you want? Now, we are already beginning to add intonation here because if I say, allora, cosa vuoi? Like super happy and cheerful, I'm asking, so, what can I get you? What do you want? But if I say, allora, cosa vuoi? Okay, things change and your allora is more of like, oh, you are just getting on my nerves. What do you want? Okay, so practice from the beginning using it with the different types of intonations depending on what you want to say. Please note that there isn't really a fixed correct position of this word. You can have it at the beginning of the sentence, you can put it in the middle of the sentence, and you can also have it at the end. So that is not really like a, a fixed rule that you can learn. Just see it in the different examples Take note how it's used in the different examples and try to create your own examples. Make this a routine, huh? Okay. If you need to, you can write an example, a sentence in the comments. I'm more than happy to correct it for you. If you need to download this whole lesson, remember that if you're not subscribed to my free newsletter, you can click on the link below and get the PDF of this lesson. Otherwise, if you are subscribed to my newsletters, then you will receive the PDF directly in your inbox as I create it, okay? Moving on. I think that the most important way of learning to use correctly allora is to analyze the context, okay? Because it really does have different shades of meaning, so analyzing the context helps you to understand what its true meaning is in that particular situation. For example, you could use it when you are greeting somebody. So you're meeting a friend, you're approaching the friend and you can say, allora, come stai? Very nice, hey, what's up, how are you? All right. Or you could use it as a warning. If, like me, you have small children that tend to fight with each other quite often, you might need to change your tone of voice and you might find yourself screaming a very strong allora, <laughs> okay? Even by itself. It's like, 
Hey, stop. What's happening? It means so many things. One little word with so many meanings. Okay. You could also add allora basta, which means, okay, this is enough. Now it's enough. Okay. So first you're greeting allora, come stai? You're super happy. And then you can turn to a allora basta. So it really is super versatile. Another super common way of using this word is simply as a filler word. So it's one of those words that help you when you need to think about the answer and you need like some time, your brain needs like a couple of seconds to think of what you want to say. So it's like a hum, let me think, mumble, mumble. Okay. We would say, allora, fammi pensare. Hmm? For example, this is a typical way of me using it. If you approach me for directions, which is something that I suggest you never ever do in your life because I'm so bad with giving directions, but if by chance you find me and you ask me for directions, you could say, Dov'è la stazione? Where is the train station? And since I absolutely need time to think about the answer, I would probably say, Allora, la stazione è a 5 minuti di macchina da qui. Okay? So, I'm using allora to give myself time to think. It's a little filler word. You can also use allora to say, Okay, let's go. For example, in a sentence like, Allora andiamo, which literally means, okay, let's go. But another very common use is when you're translating it to then. In this case, you're using it just like you would use then. So like with a cause and a consequence. Let's look at some examples. Se sono arrivati, allora possiamo iniziare la riunione. Okay, if they have arrived, then we can begin with the meeting. Okay, you see that there is a cause and a consequence. So in this case, you're putting it in the middle of the sentence and you're using it to link two sentences together. Trova un amico, solo allora potrai essere felice. <laughs> okay, very poetic sentence which shows a cause and a consequence linked with the word allora. Okay? Find a friend. Only then will you find happiness. Okay? So you can see how this is used as then. Allora can also be used in reference to things that happened in the past or when you want to say something like back in the days. So you have you are thinking about what something was or how life was back in the days. For example, if I say Pensa a come doveva essere la nostra città allora. I'm saying, oh, think about how our city was back then. So you're talking about a past situation. I'll give you another example. You're looking at pictures of your grandma and you're saying, Guarda com'era bella già allora. You're saying, wow, look how beautiful she was already back then. Okay, so you're talking about something in the past. You're referring to something of the past. Almost linked to the past, you can also have the translation of since then. So talking about that action in the past that sort of continues to have result now. Let's look at an example. Like if you want to say, um, ever since I tried Italian gelato, I can no longer live without it, which I think is true, right? You could say, da allora non smetto più di mangiare gelato. Da allora, 
And in this case, you need the preposition da because you're talking about a moment in time of the past that's fixed. Da allora, since then, I can no longer live without Italian ice cream. Okay? So you have also this option. Be careful to use the little word da. Da allora. Okay. So I think this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this little video on Allora. And if you have any questions or if you want to write a comment, please do so. I'm always here to help you and I'm always here to correct your sentences. If you do not have a tutor that can help you, just write a comment below. I'm more than happy to help you correct it and give you some information on how to continue your Italian language journey. Okay? I will see you next week. Ciao.